Hello again to her future YouTube channel. Today I will show you how you can connect to your Ubuntu or any Linux virtual machine using your web browser interface with a very nice UI uh, which will allow you to install, modify, see the, the everything with a graphic interface so you don't have to all the time using uh, SSH uh, command lines. So let's start with um, what we're gonna install today. This is a special application which uh, is called uh, WinAm. So let's start. To, uh, now I will show you how to install this application WebMin, which is uh, great. The last time we install a virtual machine and uh, we install Apache to Ubuntu server, we allowed uh, our virtual machine to be able to access uh, a web server. So everybody in the world now can actually access in uh, uh, port 80 for the web uh, the web server. So now we use uh, this tool, which is Webmin, to control. Uh, with a graphic interface, uh, everything else. I will connect using uh, our SSH client uh, PUTTY. This is. You can watch uh, our previous, uh, my previous videos for uh, how to connect and configure. So the commands which you have to use I will put in the description of this video so uh, you always can uh, copy paste it from the, directly from the uh, description. Let's start with the first command. This is how we have to install. Right button. Okay. Control W and um, Control V is to navigate to the end of the file. So just follow the, um, the instructions here, and we have to add these two lines of card. Control C with the right buttons you're making Control V. Uh, it's a uh, paste. Now we are finished and Control X then Y and return. Okay, Control X. Yes. And return. So up to now this is the commands. Now we have to add a special GP key or GPG key, sorry. Okay. Copy. Okay, it's done. We have to update the packages. Right button. Okay, it's done. And what is left is actually to execute the command. So technically, only this uh, command should be enough. But when you're running into the um, very empty uh, applications uh, like uh, sorry uh, Linux uh, 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 versions sometimes you have to follow all these steps but sometimes you can try directly with these commands if it works you don't need uh, the above steps so you always can try with this one and if it's work how is that you don't need anything else yes
Okay, and now the installation is completed. Now, after installing uh, this webmin tool, I usually doing uh, something else. Webmin, it's allow you to log in with the root uh, username and password, the one which you create like a super user, super administrator at the beginning. But I would like to use it, it uh, additional user special for uh, this webmin tools. So I executing these commands, you don't have to do it. it. Okay, this is I'm stopping the service. After stopping the servers, I'll add a new user, which is uh, I calling learn how to do webmin. You can choose whatever you want. I choosing the password for this user. And I'm starting the server. Now, like the previous uh, video, I show you the Azure by default does not allow you to communicate with a ports different than port 80. This, this uh, web application webmin using a very different ports, it's a 10,000. So you have to actually allow uh, a port 10,000. This is when you go in your inbound security rules. On our previous uh, video, I show how you go to uh, network settings. Let go slide on the left side fast. Network interface. You selecting your network interface. After that, you're going to network security group. Selecting your network security group, and inside of the network security group you clicking inbound security rules now you have to click add and we will say this is actually webmin 10,000 any any source with a TCP 10,000 10,000 it's allowed and I'm clicking OK. Creating security rule, it will take a few seconds. Security rule has been created and we can test it. This application is actually installing a self sign in certificate so https and column 10,000 if everything is correct I have the connection it's saying this is a self sign in security and I think advanced clicking advanced and I think yes I think exception for this website. I know I didn't pay for this security, but it's here. So this is the you can use the the user which we create. Learn how to do web me and the password which you set for this one. Now, this is a great uh, tool. Uh, this web mean allows you to actually see the whole system, the whole uh, machine which you have. In this case, this is a virtual Azure machine. You can install how you see updates, 
and whatever just to give you a brief uh, extra features the program found that something is wrong it needs uh, some uh, updates and you just click in install and here it is that's everything so if the program finds any problems it will, it will give you a choice from here you can use uh, uh, users you can uh, install you can see all running processes of the machine you can uh, stop them um, you can install servers you remember the last time we installed uh, Apache here it is Apache we install MySQL server and we have SSH so Apache can be controlled from here MySQL server also can be controlled from here it's asking for the user uh, for the login name and the password so if you, you remember we put a password here if I click save here it is I will have access to our MySQL server I can uh, create uh, databases I can give permissions I can backup in the next videos I will actually show you exactly how to do that but uh, for now you can completely control with the graphic user interface your or server and you don't need to use any longer uh, command prompt thank you for watching uh, have you to youtube channel stay with me subscribe if you like it uh, and uh, press the thumb up uh, goodbye